back to God's Amazing Animals. We are continuing our journey about learning some incredible facts about the wonderful animals God has created. Using all of those facts, we get to have more understanding of who God is and what he wants us to do here on earth. Today's animal is pretty common and it's actually my little sister's favorite. So in order to figure out who we're talking about today, how about we play a quick game? I'm gonna show you a hidden picture and your job is to try to guess the animal before the last square is revealed. Are you ready? Take your best guess. That's right, today's animal is the elephant. We mostly see elephants at the zoo or on Disney movies, but how much do we really know about them? Here are a few interesting facts that you might not have known. An elephant can hold three gallons of water in its trunk. Elephants usually live to be about 40 to 60 years old. Elephants can make sounds that are lower in pitch than humans can hear, almost like they're whispering to each other. An elephant can travel up to 30 miles in one day. Those are some pretty cool facts, right? I know I was surprised by a lot of them, but I bet you there is one more interesting fact that you guys don't even know. That interesting fact is that elephants like to share with one another. Elephants travel in herds, and they usually eat leaves on the bushes or the trees that are around them. Sometimes though, the only leaves that are available are up on like the super duper tall trees that they can't all reach. So that's when the bigger elephants come and they knock down the trees so that way the littler elephants can eat too. Doing this is their way of sharing and caring for every member of their herd. Think about it. If the bigger elephants really wanted to, they could look at the leaves up there on the super duper tall trees and they can decide, oh, I wanna eat all of those for myself and leave nothing for the smaller elephants. How would you feel if somebody did that to you? Not very good at all, right? We want people to help us and be nice to us, especially when we can't do things on our own. Your parents are older and bigger than you, right? Well, what if they made dinner for themselves and left you with just the empty pots and pans? That wouldn't be right, would it? That's why the elephants work hard to make sure that they share with one another and make sure everyone has exactly what they need. After Jesus died on the cross and rose three days later, he spent some time here on earth before ultimately going up to heaven to be with the Father. Once Jesus went up to heaven, God's family here on earth began to grow, and the disciples that he left behind, they became well known for their sharing too, just like the elephants we've been talking about. The Bible tells us in Acts 2.44 that all the believers were together and shared everything. It doesn't say that they were together and shared some things, like sure, maybe you could have part of my hamburger, but you can't touch my chicken nuggets. No, it said that they shared everything. This means their homes, their clothes, and all of the food that they had there, even if there were chicken nuggets back then. Nobody was forcing them to do it either, just like nobody is walking next to the large elephant telling them, hey, it's gonna be really nice for you to knock down that tree for the little elephants walking behind you. No, both of our elephants and the believers back in Acts, they shared because they wanted to. Think about it for a minute. Do you share with others? I know most of us could shout yes to that question, obviously, but do you share because you want to or because your mom is forcing you to share with your annoying little sister? And trust me, I know all about that. Either way though, sharing pleases God, but it pleases him more when we share out of a willing heart rather than being forced to do it. <gasps> Did you hear that? That sound means it's feeding time. earlier that elephants eat leaves that are on the bushes and the trees that are around them. They also eat roots, grass, and bark. Yuck. None of that sounds good to me. I think I would stick with the peanuts that Dumbo eats in the movie. But that's not what my spirit needs. In order to feed my spiritual life, I need to spend time reading the Word of God and really understanding what He's trying to say to me. So what does the Word of God have for us today? Matthew seven twelve tells us that you should do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. Jesus said this during his Sermon on the Mount when he was teaching a large crowd and giving them advice on the best way to live. Jesus wants us to do our very best to treat others the way that we want to be treated. Luckily, our elephant that we've been talking about today is a great example of this. The larger elephant knocks down the trees for the smaller elephants because they would want somebody to do that in return for them. It may not always be easy, but Jesus wants us to try our best to share with others, especially if that's how we want to be treated right back. 
Sometimes it isn't easy to share, but sharing is a great way of showing how we love and obey God. Just like we've been talking about this whole lesson, the bigger elephants share with the smaller elephants, and they are a perfect example of how God wants us to share with those who are in need. Each of our lessons has a memory verse, and this week's it was Acts 2.44. I want to challenge all of you to read this verse over and over and over again until you have it memorized. It might be better to put it up on a bathroom mirror or put it next to your bed or under your pillow, just somewhere where you can read it every single day. The more you read it, the faster you memorize it. And the faster you memorize it, the easier it is to get stored in your heart so that way you can pull it up whenever you need it. This verse is especially going to be helpful this week if you find it hard to share. That way you can remind yourself of what the disciples did and what our elephants did and what you should be doing too. Before we say goodbye today, I just want to take a minute to pray with you all. So if you guys can just close your eyes, bow your head, and let's talk to God for a second. Dear God, I just want to thank you for this day and thank you for everyone who's watching me across the screen. I pray that you continue to do amazing things with God's amazing animals. Help us to have a fun time learning all of these facts and learning more and more about you each time. God, I pray that you would help us to share with one another and share with those who are in need, just like our elephants did. Help us to continue to grow in you and to walk in you and to learn our memory verse so that way we can get more and more of your word in our heart. Thank you for everything you are. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had a fun time learning about the elephant and how to share. Tomorrow we are going to have a fun elephant-themed activity, so I hope to see you there. Here's a hint of what we're going to be making. If you don't have a brown paper lunch bag that looks like this, you might want to go get one for tomorrow's activity. Other than that, we have another lesson coming out next week, and I hope to see you guys then. Bye. Have a great week.